I made a video about the M.2 enclosure from DocCase, and I had a lot of questions as to what it is. So I am going to show you how to put in a WD Black while I tell you what this is and what the benefits of it are. So this is an M.2 enclosure. It is designed to house one of these and basically turn it in to a portable hard drive. Now to start, all we're gonna do is remove this back screw right here. Ridiculously easy process to do this, I promise you. You don't need to be some big tech nerd to understand how to do this. As long as you can screw in a screw, you're good to go. Now the reason I personally like this enclosure the most is for three main reasons. One being the fact it does support everything, which is kind of cool, but pretty much most enclosures do support all sizes. But for me, it's mainly the protections it offers. It has a giant capacitor on the side, which helps with voltage regulations during large data transfers. Now, to put the M.2 in, we're gonna unscrew this back portion right here, and boom, we're gonna get that screw completely out of there. I promise you the hardest part of this entire process is actually re-getting that screw in there because it's so small. Now we're gonna take our M.2, we're gonna line it up with these two little inlets right there. Now I am doing this through a camera lens, so it's actually rather hard. When you have it in right, it will be like that. It, you do want it at that canting angle. Then press it down, take your screw, line that up in that insert hole, and there we go. And then again, just screw it down. You don't need to screw it tight at all. Once it's good, it's just finger tight. There should be no wiggle, no wobble, nothing. Now in this enclosure, we actually have a thermal sticker on the backside, which is a good solid piece of thermal tape which isn't gonna leave any residue or anything on your drive like some of the other thermal uh, tapes that I've used in the past. Now again, for what this item actually is, the best way I can personally explain it is we all have thumb drives, we've had them for years, right? But they're extremely slow and very limited. Yeah, this is a two terabyte thumb drive, but to move two terabytes onto this, I've tested it and it would honestly take I think three days. However, this guy is rocking a 3.2 USB-C cable, which goes up to 10 gigabits per second, which also leads me into my other positive about this as to why I prefer this enclosure as to other ones I've tried in the past. If you've been looking closely at this video, you'll see that there's a power USB-C cable input and a data USB-C cable input. Now, the reason that that is, is say that you get some sort of voltage shortage or electronical shortage during your data transfer, the power cable keeps this active so that no matter what, you're not losing or corrupting the data. And it does that by noticing that the data connection has been severed or has functioning weird or whatever, which then puts this into like a safe mode, only running off the power connection and also using the capacitor as a backup battery in a sense. So yes, even during a power outage completely, you still have the charged capacitor that will actually provide